Hi, and welcome to a Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're going to take a look at the Gridiron Mashup number four, the Eastwood. And that is this little thing. And this is going to be a short video, hopefully, as we're only going to take a look at one little weapon. But I figure it's something different, so we might as well just quickly do a review of it. Um, now, I would say looking at this, this is a mashup of Boba Fett's weapon, maybe Gung Ho's. A grenade launcher. So it's supposed to be a mashup for Star Wars. It really kind of says here uh, for the Black Series, G.I. Joe Classified, Cobra, different things like that. So I don't know. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at it. We're going to see if it fits on this duster here. And I grabbed a duster because I have like six dusters now or seven or eight or I don't know. I have a whole bunch of dusters because that's sale. But anyway, let's take a look at this. Stop looking at me. But before we start, take a second, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a video, especially a grid on your studio. So let's take a look at this. All right, so here it is. And what you didn't see was me fighting to get to that opening montage or opening, the opening, and I had an itch in my throat. And I was fighting to get through it without having to redo it. And I did it, but guess what? I started this video and I didn't make it. You're not going to see that. So anyway, <laughs> grid iron just comes in a box like this. No frills with it which I'm perfectly fine. It came with this minigun over here that I did a review of. And at the end of the review, you can take a look. I'll put a link to this review if you missed it. Here's the gridiron. Just comes like this. Yes, it was already opened because like I said, I had a massive coughing fit. <laughs> um, and here we go. And quickly, when you take a look at the weapon here, it clearly looks like Boba Fett's weapon. It also kind of has that look of a Gung Ho's weapon. It is a six shooter, it looks like. It's got the trigger, it's got a scope, so it's kind of cool. Um, a little different, they use this rubber band technology so it can just kind of hang on there, which I do like. And quickly, we'll take a look at it here. So it's hard to see here, but it does have a paint app of being painted brown on the stock there. And it looks like you might have a little bit of a wash. Maybe this is a little bit of silver up here, maybe up here, and this is kind of black. Um, all in all, it looks kind of cool. It's different. I could definitely see how you can use it for Star Wars or G.I. Joe. Looking in the front here is obviously a grenade launcher, if that's what you want it to be. Or it could be a plasma cannon, I guess. And then you can make it look like a six-shooter. Or you can make it look like Boba Fett's gun, and obviously a scope is a scope. So it does look pretty interesting. And at specific angles like that, you can definitely see where the wash is. So now what we're going to do, we we'll take a look and see if it's straight. I have had some issues with the weapons not being that straight. And this actually looks pretty good. I don't see any issues with it. So I do like that. And again, the rubber band is, it looks nice. And it's just a cheap rubber band. And I guess you could do that with any of your weapons if you have something like this. So... Let's take a look and see how it fits in a duster. So we will take out Duster's little pistol. Now hopefully this figure won't blow up in flames because we know I don't believe the owners of these two companies really care for each other too much. At least that's kind of the opinion that I had gotten listening to at least one of them. Uh, but all in all, I don't care. Weapons are weapons, right? We buy more weapons, we fill more needs, and this is something that you're not going to get in with other figures or other companies. So I can say right now, I'm having a really hard time getting it to fit into his hand, and I think that's because of how the stock sets, um, and getting it to fit the trigger finger. So there we go. So you can kind of get it in there, that's what she said. And here we have the hand, and from this side here, it looks kind of weird, but oh well. And we got this nice trigger hand. Yeah, so it keeps falling out. So let's try and get this over here. Now this is what people have mentioned, that I don't seem to pose the figure sometimes. or But I want to show you, this is not the easiest weapon to get into their hand. And I'm really worried, because the trigger guard here... The finger really doesn't seem like it wants to fit through there. And I don't really want to break it there. Oh, so I got it there. 
So it happens like you should say something and all of a sudden you're like a complete fool. No. I gotta say, with the Action Force figures, the way their trigger hands fit, this thing actually fits pretty good because it is such a small looking weapon. Now, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get too good of a scope here, an eye to the scope without blowing off his eye. But the Action Force hands, they come with C cupped hands. I don't really care for those. They don't really look like they're grabbing. So if you're using classified or anything like that, you just kind of open up like this and boom. So that actually looks pretty good, to be honest. Uh, I would say that there you're kind of aiming off, shooting off a grenade. I think that looks pretty cool, to be honest. Um, not that bad. I can probably get it into a better pose here. Get the little stock here. And how it looks like he's maybe shooting the, would it be a six shooter? Or is it the grenade? It's hard to say exactly what it is. Again, this is a mashup. So I really can't screw up the name of what type of weapon that we're using here. I will say this about the gridiron weapons, and I've had some issues, is that if you hold them in their hands too long and they're not straight, they will start to warp the weapons now. Anytime you get a shorter weapon, it's not as bad, it doesn't seem. Just because, you know, you, uh, I'm going to leave this here. Um, just because it's smaller, so there's less room for it to warp. But I think that looks pretty nice. And again, here you kind of have the strap, so you can hang it down. If he's walking, you want to be car him carrying another weapon. So there you go. A quick look, and I'm not going to make this too long. I think that looks really nice. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. Um, although I don't know how it fits with the military, but hey, you know what? When it comes to Cobra, you can do whatever you want because they all do have all kinds of different things going on. All right, so there we have it. That is the Gridiron Studios mashup number four, the Eastwood. I believe they called the Eastwood probably because of the six shooter, the revolver, whatever you want to say on there. It's clearly Boba Fett's gun, and it is kind of cool. It's thirteen dollars, a uh, little price. I will leave a link in the description if you want to order it. But I would suggest that if this is something that you feel like you have to have, that you want, or maybe the minigun or anything of theirs, wait till you start to see the sales, whether a dollar off, $2 off, um, and spend like a hundred bucks and order a whole bunch of stuff because I believe the shipping is six bucks for like the whole thing. Their stuff is pretty pricey. I'm not really going to get into that. I've mentioned before, I think the prices are too expensive, but I don't run their daily operations. I don't know how much, you know, what their operating costs are. I just think it's a little too pricey for me. But I'm going to I'm gonna wrap this up. It's a short video. It doesn't happen too often. So enjoy it while it happens. Because the next video will probably be a half hour long or 40 minutes. Who knows? I ramble on. That's what I am known for. So anyway, uh, before I leave here, you know the deal. We got social medias. Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. A Punk With Toys. I'm always on Instagram. Hit the like. Follow me over there. And before I leave, hit that like button. Always hit the like button of the content creators that you enjoy. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a Grid Iron Studios video. I'm out of here, but don't go anywhere. Up here is the playlist for Grid Iron Studios. And here's a playlist of that minigun that's right back there. Have a good day.